guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we're gonna have a full walkthrough and review of this Katie Daisy Planner, which also makes an amazing gratitude journal. There's actually many things you could use this for if it's too small for you to plan in. And then I'm also going to do a quick look through her book, How to Be a Wildflower, and the Wildflower Workbook that goes along with her book, which is kind of like a nature journal, a journal for self-discovery and natural nature. So we're gonna go through these second. We're gonna go through the planner first of all. I wanna tell you how I um, came to know Katie Daisy's work. I happened to come across her on Instagram, I believe, several years ago. And I actually bought two of her prints from her Etsy shop for my home and you know, put them in eight by 10 frames. So I still own two of her prints. And if money were no object, I would definitely own a ton more of her prints. Um, also, if I weren't so lazy about getting things in frames. Are you guys like that? It seems like so monumental to change your walls and to find the right frames for a certain print and then change your wall up for that print. So yeah, that's just difficult sometimes, but she has beautiful artwork and sells beautiful prints. My mom has even bought one of her canvas prints on canvas and it is amazing. It looks, it's beautiful. So I am a big fan of her work. And last year they sent me her planner to be able to do a review on. And this year I was so glad they sent me one again. So I have a full review on her planner last year. This one I think is even better than last year. She has outdone herself, just outdone herself. It is beautiful. This is a five by seven. It is spiral O-ring bound and the O-rings work perfectly. So it completely bends back upon itself like that. It comes with a band that goes all the way around it and fits perfect. So if you wanna throw it in your purse or bag, I love the band cover even you know coordinates and looks beautiful. This cover is just, oh, it's stunning this year. I absolutely love her cover. Then if you open it up right here, um, sorry, I have something sticky there. It's not anything to do with the planner. Okay, we're gonna remove that little sticky thing. And you have a pocket right here. And her card comes with every planner from her website at least. I don't know if it comes with every planner from Amazon, um, but that is her card. Isn't that beautiful? And she sells her planners from Amazon and from katydaisy.com. So you can check her out there. And she also has her Etsy shop, um, the wheatfield.etsy.com. But I will put all those links below down in the description box. And look at the back of her card. I just love it, you guys. It's the prettiest business card there ever was. I love bumblebees and I love this design. So that's just beautiful. All right, I was sent this from her shop, so I don't know how it comes from Amazon, if it comes with that card or not. I kind of imagine it does. But So first you have your nameplate page, which is just, you know, it's all artwork. This whole planner is artwork and you have your 2018, 2019 at a glance because this is a 17 month planner, okay? So it starts in August of 2018 and then goes all the way through 2019. So you end in December of 2019, but they go ahead and throw in for you um, January of 2020 calendar. So that's a really nice thing and then it ends. So they throw in that extra month for you of planning. So we're gonna go over the basic layout of this and then I'm gonna do a full flip through um, and speed it up so you can see what every single month looks like. So you have your months at a glance and then you have your holidays. I really like when any calendar comes with the holidays listed out, but they are also noted in every month. Uh, your holidays are noted like here is Easter. Um, so it's really small at the bottom of the square in just um, a dark gray or black font. I love how she has the moon phases and she gives you that key also at the bottom of the month and she notes the moon phases. I just like that. I like when that's included in calendars. I mean, of course, since she, hers focuses around nature, you know, that's definitely something she includes. I love her fonts in here and all her beautiful artwork on the monthlies. You have a little looking tab there. So if you're just trying to flip 
like this, it's easier to spot um, if you're looking for a month like that, if you see the monthly tab. Okay, so let's go into the basic layout before we do our full flip through. And every month the theme changes, so this is kind of like your notes page for August, isn't that beautiful? And then you go into your August monthly spread. All right, it's just beautiful. Trust the magic, there's your August noted right there. You have your moon key right down here. And then you go into the month of August. I love that, so beautiful. Okay, so your weeks are laid out normally. Let me show you how this works. Horizontally, Monday through Sunday. That's normally how your weeks are laid out in here. So we're gonna flip through August so I can show you what happens at the end of August. So you can see she stays with the same colors and nature theme that she has for that month, for the entire month. And then when you get to the end of a month, if your month, wherever your month ends, she does not finish your week. So like August ends on a Friday, you do not get your Saturday and Sunday in this week. She just leaves you extra note space. And then you're gonna flip and you're gonna have to flip to September. And then she gives you a really pretty starting September page with your Saturday and Sunday, since you know the other half of your week was back here in August. August ended, so she's starting your September and then you go into your first full week of September. So that's how that works. It really just gives you more note space throughout when a month ends and more artwork throughout and a really clear definition to where a month ends and starts. So I understand some people might not like it that for when the month ends, they can't view their whole week on one, on one two page spread. But since this to me has always been used as a gratitude journal, I've never actually used it for planning. It's been totally fine with me. My sister actually has used this for planning and we've talked about that in some other videos. In the past, last year she used this for planning and she was able to deal with that. So I think that it's just something you need to know about, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. You get so much beautiful artwork in this planner for right now it's only $9 on Amazon, nine something. $9 and something cents for all this beautiful artwork. I just, I can't get over the price of it. And it is made really well, it's beautiful, the corners are rounded. This is one of my favorite pages in the entire planner. And all at once, summer collapsed into fall. And look at those beautiful aspen trees. At least I think they're aspen trees. Oh, they're just beautiful. I have only been to Colorado in the summer but the aspen trees in the summer are just amazing. My parents go almost every fall to Rocky Mountain National Park, to Estes Park, and there are aspen trees like this all around and the yellow leaves just fluttering um, like confetti. Oh, just beautiful. And the noise that the aspen leaves make, I shouldn't say noise because noise sounds like a, ba a bad word. The music, they literally make music the aspen leaves in the wind are just a beautiful sound. It's magical. So I think this is definitely one of my favorite pictures in the entire planner. And I love how every month she leaves you this two page spread to get started in your next month. At least I think she did it this year. We will check. So, but it's not the same every month. This month it says grateful for, and it's not the same every month. Then you start your next month. This is September's theme. Really green, beautiful leaves still. In Texas, we still are very green in September. So this monthly theme makes sense to me in September and I love it. Okay, so here is our September theme. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a flip through of the whole planner so you guys can see it and I'm gonna speed it up. And then we will talk about some things in it at the end.
All right, that is the entire planner flip through. I wanna go through and show you some of my very favorite pages and like one of the extras that you get at the end. So one thing I will say, I love the entire planner, but I really hope that next year, October holds like um, pumpkins, a lot, a lot of pumpkins and pumpkin patch and fall leaf colors. Um, so she went along more the lines of, you know, snakes and bats in October, which is really interesting. And so that's her October, but I would just really love to see pumpkins. But um, this is really beautiful. This end to October, really beautiful. Um, I'm not a huge snake person. I mean, that page is beautiful, but um, I'm a little bit, I, I, I am a fearful of snakes. I am. Yeah. I love all these trees in November. And this is one of my favorite pages in the entire calendar. I absolutely love trees and the forest and just the mountains like that. And that is just, that is beautiful. So that's November. And um, there's an end to November. I love that too. And I love this quote. It is in the shelter of each other that people live. Because it's like, you know, trees live in the shelter of each other and they help each other survive that way. And I love that the thought that it's true that people do that also. December, she went with a really beautiful kind of ice theme feeling to me. And it is beautiful. But I would love to see a December sometime with holly leaves, you know, green and red, and Christmas trees um, and lights on the tree and stuff like that but I realize she's probably trying to leave it for those who do not celebrate um, the traditional Christmas who are her of other religions will still want to buy the calendar also. But I do miss the traditional Christmas look myself because I'm just a really traditional gal. Um, but it is just, it's magnificent and beautiful nonetheless. And I love this one too. So as you saw me flip through, there's just, there is so much beauty all throughout and so many places to take beautiful notes for each month. So like I mentioned, I myself could not plan in this small of a planner with my life right now. Someday I'd like to imagine like my, you know, 60, 70 year old self might be able to plan in the small of a planner. Is that hilarious that I think of that? But, um, but no, I don't want to fast forward to my 60, 70 year old self. So I, I want to live in my moment right now. I love my life right now. I love my kids' ages. So I want to live right where I am. But um, I used this for a gratitude journal for a good portion of the year last year. And then I started too many new journals in January of this year. If you guys watch my journaling updates video, then you know that if you keep up with me. So I stopped this just because I have too many journals going this year in 2018. But this book is so beautiful. It really wants me to, makes me want to pick it back up for gratitude. I may have to wait till the end of 2018 just because I'm going to be doing a lot less journaling in 2019. That's my goal. Because um, I started just a few too many this year, I feel like. But I love all of what I'm doing. If you want to know about the journaling I'm doing, I have an updates playlist. And once a quarter, I give a planning update there video and a journaling update video there once a quarter because those are the questions I get so often and so I give an, an update video on each one of those things each quarter. But this makes a absolutely perfect gratitude journal. I have not come across anything that makes a better gratitude journal than this. Even if you didn't want it to be gratitudes every day, it could be just journaling every day. It could be just recording like a great thing that happened every day. Um, so it can be along any of those lines. I think it makes a perfect journal for that, for gratitudes, for wonderful events, things you want to remember. And um, it's just the perfect size for that. And the beauty of it just invokes gratitude. So I just love her beautiful quotes throughout, her colors and her beautiful artwork. Katie Daisy is very talented. If you go look at her artwork prints, you're, you're going to want to order some prints. They are beautiful. All right. So I could gush about like, you know, every page in the planner. Like here's another beautiful one. We can never have enough nature. Henry David Thoreau. No, we can't. We cannot have enough nature. And in Texas, that is sometimes something hard to come by because we don't live in a particularly beautiful area. 
and wear for about six months out of the year. It is just, it's plain hot. And we don't have somewhere we can just walk out our door and go to a nature preserve. Um, we live about 30 minutes from any nature preserve. And, you know, and still it's a Texas nature preserve. So it's not, you know, some people live in really beautiful states and they go on beautiful hikes right outside their door. We don't have that. But I absolutely love nature. And um, so this just, I don't know, it brings it home. It makes you feel closer to nature, even if you live somewhere particularly hot and not particularly amazingly beautiful. It makes you see all the beauty where you live, at least for me. Love this one right here. Love that picture and quote, you are my sun, my moon, and all my stars. So you end in December of 2019. Like I said, it's a 17 month planner. Then at the very end, you have a goals for the year right here, right here. So that could be, you could come back here and write your goals for 2019 before the year started, or you could come here and write your goals for the next year. Or you could write what goals you achieved that year. But anyway, it's at the end of your year. At the end of December 2019. And then there is this quote by Gandhi, which is beautiful. Love is the strongest force in the world. Wait, love is the strongest for force the world possesses. And yet it is the humblest imaginable. And then you have a little grateful for. Just a really beautiful page. Then they give you this extra of January 2020 calendar. Just to give that to you. Then it ends, love for all, and another notes page. And then you have special people and occasions. So you have two little note grids up here. And then you have every month right here for the whole year. So you can write in dates or anniversaries or however you want to use this. It could be a big, wonderful event that happened that month. Like you could want to record this with journaling. Um, to Something to remember each month by. And then you're even given 2020 at a glance. Um, those are just talking about some of the quotes in here and your front and back are laminated and really thick, not laminated, but they're coated in something so that if you spill water on them, it's not going to, um, mess up your book. And it's just, it's a beautiful planner, you guys, and it's really quality made. And I wrote in mine all last year. I do not know the paperweight, but it feels pretty good to me. If I had to just like randomly guess the paperweight, I would probably guess it's about 70 pound paper, but with all the colors and stuff on it, really, I had no problems with anything ghosting through and my sister planned in it and had no problems with it. It feels, feels like good substantial paper. And, um, I know the company that prints these, the Amber Lotus company, I know they plant trees and do lots of stuff like that to keep the, the forests, um, going uh, up. Okay, that doesn't sound right, but they uh, they do a lot of work. And this is this paper is a mix, paper from responsible sources. So it's printed on recycled paper using soy-based inks. It's printed in South Korea. So if you want to know about that. Now we're going to get into and flip through a little bit of Katie Daisy's beautiful books, because if you're interested in this planner, I can guarantee you will like her books. Okay, first we're going to actually flip through the book, How to Be a Wildflower, and then we'll flip through the Wildflower Workbook, a journal for self-discovery in nature that goes along with it. These books are not expensive. Um, this book, I think, is $12 right now on Amazon. It's also sold on her site, and she used to offer a copy signed by herself by Katie Daisy, but I looked on her site, and it looked like those are sold out right now, so I don't know if they'll ever restock the signed ones on her site. But it is a really nice hardback book, and even the back looks beautiful. Do you remember how easily you perceived the magic of the natural world when you were a child? Recapture the wonder that is right in front of you. And this is a field guide by Katie Daisy. And even the spine is really beautiful to be sitting on a shelf. It makes a beautiful gift for someone at only around $12. This book belongs to your nameplate page. I love how she used this typewriter font throughout most of her things. And then How to Be a Wildflower, A Field Guide by Katie Daisy. Just every page is beautiful, you guys. If you have a friend who loves nature and they have a birthday coming up um, or any just little time you need to get them a gift, this is a wonderful gift and the workbook that goes with it or even just the book itself. If they are a planner or if they would wanna use this for a gratitude journal, it would make a great combination 
for almost $20 for a gift. So those are just my ideas. Here is your ta table of contents. She types you a little introduction. Um, I am trying to remember in Illinois. Okay. So she is from Illinois, I believe. Yeah. Lindenwood. And it's a town of only 505 people. Uh, so she talks a little bit about that. She goes back there every summer and posts beautiful pictures on her Instagram account. So follow her Instagram. I will try to remember to link that down below in the description too, but I have linked her Instagram a lot on my page whenever I post about her. So there's a little letter to her, um, to you from her and where all, you know, her painting is inspired by where she grew up there and her summers there. And it's really beautiful. She writes very poetically and describes everything really beautifully. So that is all written from Katie Daisy to you. And then you just have beautiful co quotes throughout. And that's a picture of actually her hometown there in Illinois. And there's her signature. That's the end of her little letter to you. Now, so this book is full of prompts and of pages that are just beautiful with beautiful nature quotes to get you motivated to go out into nature. Like here's an idea for a wander lunch, what you might bring with you, a peach, an avocado, a baguette a honey stick, a wedge of cheese, a thermos of tea, a piece of dark chocolate, um, yes, and a handful of almonds. And then you have just beautiful quotes and pictures to go along with it. And then she has motivating pages like adventure things, what you should bring with you on a little hike, on an adventure. My mom has this print in her house, actually in her bathroom, and they absolutely love Estes Park. Um, that's right at the edge of Rocky Mountain National Park. And they love going there every fall and doing hikes there. And my parents literally hike miles and miles together when they go there. And we got to go there with them last summer, um, me and one of my other siblings. And it was such fun and a really amazing time. So here are some magical places to visit. She gives you ideas. Explore the Redwoods. I've always wanted to go to Redwoods. This is one of the prints I have in my home. This one. It's situated a little bit different because it's an 8 by 10 print. But, and so it's just full of beautiful things and motivation to get out. Explore the national forests. Comb these national seashores and lake shores. So she gives you great ideas of places to visit. Daydream under the giant sequoias. Hike the Appalachian Trail. Poisonous plants, yes, these are good to know, right? And stay on a yurt on the ocean, stay in a yurt. Um, so just really beautiful book. A camping checklist, this could actually be really helpful. And how to purify water, so there's helpful tips like that. As well as just beautiful pictures. Take a cross-country road trip, dive, drive down Highway 1 with the windows open, feel the salt air and warm breeze on your skin. Explore Big Sur. So I want to show you every page of this book. I marked some of my very favorites, but we just don't have time. I know nobody wants to see see me go through every page. I'm just going to do a quick flip through and speed it up. I did not go through every single page because I just feel like this video is getting a little bit long, but it is beautiful. It is a really fun book and a great gift. Now let's take a quick look at her wildflower workbook that goes with this book hand in hand. So this is more of a journal. Look at that beautiful page. This is really thick cardstock, so it's not a hardback. It has a beautiful spine and even a beautiful back right there. What are your favorite trees? How do you feel when you walk in the moonlight? Where do you feel most alive? And so these are some, like, some of the questions you're going to answer in here and explore with yourself. Or I feel like this would be a great journal for someone of any age. I mean, if you have a 10-year-old child that would love to do this, if you have a teenager that would love to do this. Then she gives you a little um, introduction letter and talks about her childhood summers in the rural Midwest. Um, inspired everything she's done since then. So 
where do you feel most alive? And then, you know, you're asked to journal in here. Is it on the top of a mountain? Is it in the arms of a lover? Okay, well, maybe that's not good for a child. Okay, not maybe. <laughs> it's not. Describe that place here. Um, but that's the only thing in the whole book. I've looked through this whole book. I can't think of anything else that might not be good for a child. So maybe you could just white that out. I'm not sure. Or hopefully children might not even think of it in that way. They might just think of it, you know, as your one true love like that. So maybe my mind is just in a bad place. Okay. I want to be able to sleep in an open field, to travel west, to walk freely at night. Love the beautiful quotes and just the beautiful pictures. Pack up your things and just go. What essentials do you need for a road trip or adventure? Your road trip playlist. Towns to visit. I like this wish list. Location, date, description. Or it could be towns you have visited. Like after you do that, you record it. Describe the most beautiful place you've ever been. I love these prompts. And I love the beautiful artwork that surrounds where you're going to write. What a treasure this would be if you really did fill it all in. There's your camping checklist. Again, words that spark adventure, um, hikes to take, date and location, or it could be hikes you've taken. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to stop on every page. I'm just flipping through. So throughout, there's lots of journal prompts. Then like make a list of simple pleasures. It is the sweet, simple things of life, which are the real ones after all. This is one of my favorite quotes by Laura Ingalls Wilder. Favorite. And I love this list and what it would prompt. Imagine you've stumbled upon your dream home. What does it look like? Where is it? Love this beautiful picture and the prompt once again. Goals and dreams. Because you are alive, everything is possible. Love that. Words that conjure a daydream. Chase the sunset. I absolutely love sunrises as number one and sunsets number two. If I could just sit and watch the sunrise and sunset every single day of my life, I would. Or be taking a walk at sunrise and sunset every single day. Um, always be on the lookout for the best view. Record the date, location, and description of the sky here. Love that. Especially for when you're on vacation at places. If you want to record that, your favorite places to see the sunrise and set. Circle or highlight the words that pull at your heart. Love that. Okay, favorite quotes. I'm a big quote person. I love that she left a page for that and it's so beautiful. Every dewdrop and raindrop had a whole heaven within it. Love that by Longfellow. So beautiful. Look at that page. I mean that you get this whole book for something like $12. This one's around $12 on Amazon right now too. But it is also available on the Katie Daisy site. Love this page. Also, because you record your favorite books and author. So beautiful. Write a favorite poem. What is your favorite season? List the pleasures of that season here. Absolutely in love with that. And the quotes. This just motivates you to fill out this book and to be, you know, become uh, back to paying attention to all those small things in nature that we might ignore daily. What gifts and talents can I use to better the world? Just beautiful prompts. Like a honeybee to flowers, we must take time to savor the sweetness. Collect sweet moments here. I love that. Um, okay, I know it just sounds like I'm saying I love every single page. I get it. I get it. Ob obstacles and challenges that you have overcome. And then a great quote about that. Climb the mountains and get their good tidings. Nature's peace will flow into you as sunshine flows into trees. The winds will blow their own freshness into you and the storm and the storms, their energy while cares will drop off like autumn leaves by John Muir. Love it. What does freedom look like to you? So it's just beautiful. Look at that. Then you just have some pages of beautiful artwork. Where do you find magic? Just beautiful. The moon phases. Take a moonlit walk without a flashlight. Yes. I highly allow that. I mean, I highly recommend that. <laughs> of course I allow it. Yes, yes. Some of my favorite walks with my kids, I can actually remember because it's so infrequent that we go take a walk in the dark. But um, walking and looking for frogs at night, 
with my youngest has become something that he loves in the summer. And we actually find them in our suburban neighborhood, even though we have like no creek. We have a drainage ditch at the back of the park in our neighborhood. So I don't know how we find frogs, but he does. And he picks them up and they pee all over him and he loves it. Maybe he doesn't love the pee, but he loves to pick them up and bring them home and put them in the backyard and hope that they're going to stay there. But they don't. And my oldest, I particularly remember a walk with him when he was about nine years old. And he's almost 15 now. And it was in the dark one night when it had snowed here in Texas, which is so rare. And I said, let's go take a snow walk. So if you do these things, these are things you're going to remember. Grateful for. So it's just a beautiful workbook. But this is beautiful on its own. If you don't feel like you need the book also, this journal is just a beautiful workbook to have and fill in. So don't feel like, you know, you have to have the book in order to buy the journal. But they're just, they are beautiful. And I'm so grateful to Katie Daisy and her team for sending them to me. Because I'm just so glad that I can share them. Like I said, I've loved her artwork for years. And I'm just so glad that I can share it and spread the word on her amazing talent. So this planner is amazing. I love it. And like I said, even though I'm doing too many journals, I am highly motivated to start filling this back in as a gratitude journal because it just calls to me. It's so beautiful. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down below. And happy planning, happy journaling. Go take a walk in nature. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.